Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you look sexy today. Happy Sunday. Life rules. We'll talk about instructions for life. What the Bible tells us to do. No? Uh, specifically, no, how are we going to improve our spiritual maturity? Sinayar ni Pablo sa mga... Sorry, hindi si Paul ang nagsulat nito. Kasi hanggang ngayon hindi alam kung sino nagsulat ng Hebrews. Pero sigurado, Hebrew siya. Therefore, leaving the elementary teaching about the Christ. Elementary means when you say elementary, it's the basic, right? We all went through elementary and then high school and then college. So it's the basic and then he, the, the author encourages the people na, na, na nagbabasa. Sabi niya, let us press onto maturity. Sa Tagalog, tayo daw ay lumago. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo, mukha ba siyang matured? Mukha naman, di ba? Not laying again a foundation of repentance, but uh, from dead works and of faith toward God. Sa umaga na to ay pag-uusapan natin no ang labing dalawang life rules tell the person next to you life rules for a Christian gusto mong lumago gusto mo bang magmatured let's look at no dun sa mga suggestions ng Biblia patungkol sa ating pamumuhay how are we going to grow? Because when you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, what's next? How am I supposed to grow in Christ? No, so we uh, list down 12, no, 12 things that you need to consider na kumbaga pagbulay-bulayan at tingnan. We have scripture, Silence and solitude, source of income, study, Sabbath, simplicity, play and recreation, service and mission, care for the physical body, emotional health, family and community. If you have your bulletins with you, you can feel all those uh, uh, mga blank spaces no? sa so, pag-uwi nyo, pwede siyang ma-review. Anyway, let's start with number one. Scripture. No? Scripture. Ngayon, before, sa lagi sinasabi, turn, uh, open your open your Bibles to, ngayon, turn on your Bibles. Kasi yung mga Bibles nasa tablet, nasa laptop, nasa cellphone, right? So, iba, iba na yung panahon ngayon, Right? Scripture. What is Scripture? The Word of God. Sabi sa Psalm 119, 105, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my, fight, to, to my path. No? Ang iyong salita ay parang ilaw na gumagabay sa aking mga paa sa kung saan may madilim at ito ay ilaw na para makita ko yung pathway. Alam nyo, ang, ang ilaw or yung light, ang purpose nito is for us to help us see. Imagine nyo ba kung brown out or black out, wala kang makita lalo na gabi, and then suddenly mag-open ka ng, ng cellphone, mag-open ka ng kandila, mag magsisindi ka ng kandila. No? Lahat agad automatic from sobrang dilim, everybody... No, in the room, we look directly agad sa ilaw. Bakit? Kasi it helps you to see things. Walang tao na gustong manatili sa dilim. Ang lahat ng tao, lalong-lalo na ang mga kapatid natin na hindi nakakakita, walang ninais yan araw-araw kung hindi makakita. Lalo ka na. Na-imagine mo ba subukan mong pumikit? No? For one hour lang. It is so uncomfortable. So this world is a world of darkness. And the scripture is a light for you. No? To guide you in your pathway. 
Sabi sa 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, all scriptures eh, inspired down by God and useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. Now, it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. So, hindi lamang sa ilaw, no? it is being used no? for teaching. Ginagamit sa pagtuturo. Ginagamit sa pagre-reproof. Ginagamit sa correction. Kung gusto mong itama yung nagawa mong mali. Ito yung sandiga, dito ka tumingin. No? Ginagamit sa training in righteousness. So, importante ang scripture. No? At uh, kaya nga meron tayo na uh, tuwing uh, Wednesday na walk through the Bible. Bakit? Kasi we are encouraging our people no, to read the Word. Ano, I was asked before, no, sabi niya, sabi nung isang, ano, isang attendee, sabi, Pastor, pinatatamaan mo yata ako eh. Kasi yung sermon mo para sa akin eh. You see, a pastor will not waste his time and energy in making a tailored fit sermon just for you. You see, the Word of God, ulitin ko lang, ang sabi dito, use for teaching, reproof, yun, pumasok na, correction. Right? And training in righteousness. We need to understand, ang salita ng Diyos ay para sa ating lahat. Even yung nagpipreach, right? Siya mismo unang nakakain bago niya ipakain. We need to understand that man shall not live by bread alone. In our case, Filipinos shall not live by rice alone. <laughs> Di ba kasi hindi naman kompletong pagkain pag uh, walang rice eh. Di ba? Naalala ko nga nung crew kami sa McDonald's, Ang, ang meal namin is uh, Big Mac, fries, at saka Coke. Everyday yun. So, ginagawa namin, nagbabaong kaming rice. Pina, inuulam namin yung Big Mac at saka yung French fries. So, alam niyo rice is life. <laughs> Pero, alam niyo sabi dun sa Matthew 4.4, But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. At saan magagaling yun? Dito. Gusto mong kausapin ka ng Panginoon? Read the scripture. If there's one thing, na kung sakaling dumating ang panahon, nakunin ako ng Diyos, at maalala mo ko, nais ko sana madinig sa labi mo, na itong pastor na to, ang nangulit sa akin na magbasa ng Biblia. Right? Kaya nga paulit-ulit kami every Wednesday. We di- Ang hirap kaya gawin nun. Fast cut. Biro mo, Genesis pa fast cut mo. Hanggang Revelation. There was a time na ayoko nang gawin eh. Kasi ang hirap eh. No? Pero alam nyo, at the, at the time na sabi ko, tapos na ako ng, ano, ng Old Testament. Hindi ko na tutuloy ito sa New. Parang wala naman nanonood eh. Pero alam nyo, there was this person na nag-message sa akin. Sabi niya, I started reading the word because I listen to you every Wednesday. My goodness, Lord, kahit isang tao sabi mo, kailangan ituloy ko to. You, you see, it, it encourages you to to to, uh, to 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 read the word. No, kasi naiintindihan mo na yung yung ano eh, yung yung gist, yung summary. No, kung sa pelikula, trailer. Number two, scripture is important for us. No. It is uh, part of our life rules as a Christian. Number two, this is also important. Silence and solitude. Lalo na sa misis mo. Importante yan. Silence and solitude. Right? Alam nyo, sabi sa Psalm 62.5 Find rest, O my soul, soul, in God alone. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, magpahinga ka. Magpahinga ka sa Panginoon. Amen? You can rest. Right? Alam niyo, the call to stillness, ang pagtawag sa inang Panginoon sa kapayapa.
God. With the busyness and muchness of this world, it is very hard to stay focused on God. So you need a quiet time where you can read your word, pray to God. You see, prayer is a dialogue. Dialogue. It means dalawa kayo magsasalita. Hindi siya monologue. Monologue is like, Lord, kailangan ko tong kotse na to, ibigay mo. Lord, kailangan ko to, kailangan ko yan, bil mo ko nun, bil mo ko niyan, Lord. You see, that's monologue. After you cry to God, ask for forgiveness, thank Him, ask for whatever you want, then listen. Give time to keep quiet. Listen to God. Hindi mo siya mapapakinggan kung busy ka. Hindi mo siya mapapakinggan kung ano-ano yung iniisip mo. Hindi mo siya mapapakinggan kung iniisip mo kung anong score ng Lakers at saka ng Dallas. Hindi mo siya mapapakinggan kung hindi ka titigil. After you pray, after you read the word, after you tell everything to God, after you cry to God, then shh, listen. Alam niyo paano siya magsasalita? You'll be surprised. Minsan, babasa ka, maiiyak ka na lang. Para sa akin to Lord. Minsan, as, as you listen to God, umupo ka sa sala mo, di ba? May dumang, may, may dumang ibon, nangusap na siya yung Panginoon. As you listen to God, nag, nagdadrive ka sa freeway, dyan sa I-5, traffic, tapos napakinggan mo sa, sa, sa ano, KKLA, isang worship song, and then you start crying kasi the Lord is uh, saying something to you. Natinitingnan ka na katabi mo, baliw ba ito? Ba ito may iyak ito mag-isa? Diba? As you were worshiping every Sunday, hindi pa nagsasalita yung pastor, you, were, you started crying because the Lord is talking to you. Unless you stop talking, you will not hear God. Right? Kasi nga, dialogue eh. Parang yung kausap mo. Nag-uusap kayo mag-asawa, magkapatid, magkapit-bahay. Pagkatapos mo magsalita, sasagot siya, di ba? Kasi hindi yun communication kung ikaw lang magsasalita. Right? So you need to wait. Ito gusto ko to eh. Joshua 1.8. Sabi ng Biblia, This book of the law shall not depart out, no, time out. Hindi dapat umaalis sa ating bibig. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Ibig sabihin, araw at gabi, isa puso natin ang salita ng Diyos. That you may just observe to do according to all that is written therein. Hindi mo lang i-observe kung hindi gawin mismo. For then thou shalt, thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success para ikaw ay pagpalain para ikaw ay umunlad wag mo daw ilalayo sa iyo ang salita ng Diyos ito ay si Joshua na nagsasalita sa maraming mga Israelites no at sinasabi niya na ang galing-galing kasi ni Joshua eh yung Joshua generation after Moses Ang daming problema nun sa wilderness. Even si Moses, hindi nakatawid. Si Joshua, nakatawid. Di ba? Tapos, under sa, gener- sa, sa leadership ni Joshua, ang ganda, as in, pagpasok pa lang, pinagsak ng Jericho Wall, hindi nila pinatay yung kalaban. Alam yung ginawa nila? Umikot lang doon sa wall. nagpray at kumanta. Praise and worship. Bagsakan yung wall ng Jericho. Pagkatapos, takbuhan yung mga kalaban. Takot na takot sa kanila. And then they captured the land. And then they were uh, blessed by God. Joshua generation is a beautiful generation. Ano ba sekreto mo, Joshua? Ito sabi ni Joshua, hindi ako umalis dito. Kaya gusto nyo pagpalain kayo, sampu ng lahat ng anak nyo, mga apo nyo, next generation, third, fourth, fifth generation, do not depart from the word of God. Amen? Solitude is the soul's holiday. Wow! Ang katahimikan daw ay isang holiday para sa ating kaluluwa. An opportunity to stop doing for others and to surprise and delight ourselves instead. Sabi ni Katrina Kennison. In Luke 5.14, Jesus often withdrew to lonely places 
and prayed. Who is the best model there is? Jesus. Si Jesus nga, kailangan to. Ikaw rin. Right? You need to withdraw from the, from the crowd. You need to withdraw. No? You need to withdraw from doon sa, sa kaguluhan, sa business and muchness of this world. Kaya nga tayo dito sa, sa ating simbahan, meron tayong bi-annual prayer and fasting. Hindi annual, bi-annual. We did it last January, we will do it again July. Why? Because this is important. This is important for our church. Hindi ito nakukuha, ang, pag, ang paglago ng simbahan ay hindi nakukuha sa wishful thinking lamang. Pwede naman tayong lumago eh, sa totoo lang, kahit hindi tayo mag-pray. Pwede. Basta gwapo lang yung pastor, madahin pupunta eh. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang, alam nyo, walang simba, kung, kung ang simbahan ay lumago dahil sa kung ano man ang merong i-offer nito, usually bumabagsak. Pero pag ang simbahan lumago dahil ibinabad natin sa panalangin, dahil tayo ay humingi sa Diyos, dahil in-acknowledge natin ang Holy Spirit sa paggalaw sa ating simbahan, kahit sinong demonyo magpabagsak, hindi babagsak. Amen. Dahil pag sinarado ng Diyos ang pinto, walang makapagbukas. Dahil kapag kabinuksan ng Diyos ang pinto, walang makakapagsara. So let the Holy Spirit lead us. Join us every January and July. Prayer and fasting. Papayat ka pa. <laughs> Di ba? That's why we have prayer breakfast every Saturday. Bakit pa ma-pray kayo? Kayong church niya, bakit pa ma-pray kayo? Ang hilig niyo mag-pray. Nakakabor kaya yan. That's what you think. Try it. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy the presence of God. Do you know that we pray for each one of you every Saturday? We pray for all the pastors here every Saturday, each one of the congregations. No, we pray for all the things that we do, we plan, we pray before we do anything, we pray. Hindi natin gagawin 'to dahil kapricho lang ng pastor. Hindi natin 'to gagawin dahil gusto lang natin, trip natin, ito ang uso. No, we do it the Holy Spirit's way. That's why we need to pray. Amen. O nag-breakfast ka pa, libre yan. Punta kayo dito. At simula sa Sabado, alam nyo ba? Dito na mismo sa Wiley, binigay na sa atin. Alas 10 ng umaga, ang prayer breakfast. Amen? God is good, right? Sabi ni Lord, ang hilig nyo mag-pray, ha? bibigyan ko kayo ng lugar na mag-pray. Diba? So it doesn't matter, marami tayo, kaunti tayo, God looks at the heart of people who's praying. Amen? So come join us every Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Zoom prayer breakfast. Sagot ni Pastor Tim yung breakfast. <laughs> Sabi ni Ram Das, no? The quieter you become, the more you can hear. Do you agree with that? Solitude is one of the most important disciplines for the spiritual life. In fact, ang pagiging tahimik, ang pagpunta sa tahimik, ang, ang quiet time ay isang napakagandang discipline, spiritual discipline. Especially for pastors, for leaders no, who need help and hooking from ministry stress to experience God restoring their souls. Recently, 2019, ewan ko kung nabalitaan nyo, sunod-sunod yung nagpakamatay ng mga pastor. These are young pastors, 30s, 40s, early 50s, right? And hindi lang sila galing sa small, simple denominations or non-denominations, galing sila sa mga mega churches. Ang liliit ng mga anak nila. Elementary pa. They were successful. In fact, in ministry. Successful. Very successful. Ang dami ng church, ang tao sa church nila. Pero they killed themselves. Why? No, because of stress. Not just physical, but mental, uh, psychological, emotional, and spiritual stress. You see, Psalm 46, 10 says, Be still and know I am God. Even yung mga salmista, ini-encourage tayo, chill ka lang. Be still and know that I am God. Number three, sabi natin, importante ang scripture. Importante ang quiet time or silence and solitude. 
importante rin ang source of income. Do you know that you can also mature in your source of income? Do you know that you can also mature in handling your source of income? Do you know that you can also mature by learning where you get your source of income? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sa Diyos galing ang pera mo. Amen? Baka kasi akala mo magaling ka. Hindi kasi matalino na ako, elementary pa lang eh. High school, valediktorian ako, college, ako ay uh, libre dahil ako ay uh, scholar sa UP at uh, nakapagtrabaho ako sa magandang kumpanya, nakapag-ipon ako, nakabili ako ng bahay ko, nakapunta ako ng Amerika, bumili ako ng five-bedroom, meron swimming pool sa likod na hindi ko napapaliguan. Tanda mo, galing lahat ang pera mo sa Diyos. Sabi kasi sa Deuteronomy 8.18, But remember the Lord your God. For it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Wala ka pong apilidad. Bigay sa iyo ng Diyos yan. Amen? So, wag natin ipagyabang. Kung sakali may magsabi sa iyo, ang unlad-unlad mo na ngayon, sabihin mo, praise the Lord. Right? By God's grace, binigyan niya ako. Kasi kung ako lang, Walang mangyayari. Well, sabihin na natin, yan, yung, yan ang prinsipyo ng mundo eh. Magsipag ka lang, yaman ka naman talaga eh. Di ba? Applicable yan sa magnanakaw, sa parehas. Magsipag ka magnakaw, yaman ka naman talaga eh. Right? But the truth is, hindi galing sa Diyos yung wealth na yun. Nakuha natin, And so confirms His covenant, which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. Applicable yan ngayon. Yung kanyang covenant noon, applicable ngayon. Ang sabi niya, Abraham, pagpapalain kita. Ngayon, 2021, anak ka ng Diyos, applicable sa iyo, pagpapalain ka niya. Wala ka ba napansin? Wala kay Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, halos lahat. David, Solomon, halos lahat ng biblical characters na who put God first, lahat sila mayaman. Napansin mo? Ama, binabasa mo yung Biblia? Napansin ko lang itong mga ito. Ah. Ang daming mga ari-arian. So, masama bang yung mama? Hindi. Kasi pinagpala ka eh. Ang masama, sobrang-sobrang yaman. Tapos, sobrang damot mo. <laughs> Di ba? Diba, ang dami mo, tapos ayaw magbigay. Right? Meron ang usapan, sabi ng math professor, no? Lord, why I don't have money? Sinagot naman siya ni Lord. Sabi ni Lord, well, so that I can provide for you and you will put your trust in me. Sabi ng math professor, Lord, why did you give me money? Sabi ni Lord, so that you will bless the heart of people and they will see my goodness and you can honor me through supporting my works and so I can bless you again in hundredfolds. Sabi ni Lord, Lord, at sabi ng math prof, mathematics, mathematic professor ako eh, impulsively sinasabi mo, in mathematics, that doesn't make sense. Sabi ni Lord, that's why you have your question number one. Right? It doesn't make sense kung gagamitin mo yung utak mo. Pero gamitin mo yung mathematics ni Lord, sigurado. Diba? Tanong mo sa katabi mo, bakit ba ang damot ko? Wag siya, wag mong sabihin, ba't ba ang damot mo? Hindi. So, tanong mo sa kanya, ba't ba ang damot ko? Diba? Dumating ka ba sa punto na para ang damot, damot mo? Right? The question is, can they see Christ in you as you handle your finances? Can they see Christ in in you as you handle your work, your your businesses. You see, you need to be missional in your workplace. Wherever you work, you need to be missional. You need to to allow people to see Jesus in your work ethics. No, Kumbaga, how to organize your day? Bukas lunes na naman. It's a manic Monday, di ba? Paano ko ba si simula na naman ang lunes? Simple lang. Diba? Sabi ng Panginoon, seek God's will. And all you do. Hindi lang in some you do, but in all you do. And He will show you the path to take. Unahin mo ang Panginoon. Dunis ng umaga, para hindi ka malito, manalangin ka muna. Quiet time muna. Scripture muna. Diba? At i-dedicate mo yung araw mo sa Panginoon. 
Huwag mong unahin yung mga to-do list mo. Unahin mo ang to-do list mo, number one, Lord, ikaw mo na kakausapin ko. Bago ka, uh, bago mo kausapin ng asawa mo, pag-isip mo, kausapin mo muna si Lord. Sabi nga, do not be shaped no, by this world. Sabi mo sa katay mo, huwag umayon sa mundo na to. Kasi itong mundo na to may sariling mundo eh. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you do that? Read the word. Pray. Quiet time. That's how you transform your mind. Di ba daming toxic sa mundo? Ang daming toxic sa... sa, sa minsan, hindi na ako nanonood na news eh. Kasi hindi ko na alam kung sino paniniwalaan ko eh. Di ba? Hindi na rin ako nanonood ng mga YouTube videos na iba na ang sakit sa tenga. Ang daming toxic eh. Tapos minsan, sa nakapaligid na tao sa'yo, may toxic din. Sa, sa trabaho mo, sa workplace mo, may toxic din. Minsan nga, mapapahay ka na lang, mag-Facebook ka na lang, may toxic din. Di ba? Di ba toxic yung, kamusta ka na? Yan. Alam niyo? Mustang yan. Mustang. Alam niyo mustang? Nangangamusta mo na bago umutang. Toxic, di ba? So you transform your 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 mind, no? You renew your mind. Start with God, di ba? Tell the person next to you, be transformed. At saka yung itong principle na to ay principle din sa Matthew 6:33 na lagi ko talaga tong ginagamit. Seek ye first the kingdom of God no? and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Ano ba ang gusto mo? You obey God, may ganting pala ka. You disobey God, may ganting palo ka. <laughs> diba? Number four, study. Tell the person next to you, mag-aaral. Ayan. Eh, pang-pastor lang yan eh. Alam nyo, dahil sa Diyos, kaya ka matagumpay. Amen? Our Lord grant us success. Psalm 118.25 Alam nyo, hindi lang enough ang anointing. Okay? Si David, he was anointed by God, but the anointing is not enough kung he, hindi siya nag-obey sa Lord na maging mabuti at mabait siyang shepherd. Kasi shepherding is a practice stage for David as as uh, in the future he will shepherd the entire nation of Israel di ba remember david binubunot niya yung yung tupa niya do sa bunganga ng leon pinapatay niya yung leon pagka ina, ginagalaw yung tupa niya so ganun din siya no naging hari siya lahat ng kumalaban sa Israel patay dami kaya napatay ni david alam niyo ba ang time ni david is the golden years, golden era of Israel. Bakit? Why? Kasi maunlad sila at lahat ng bansa nakapalibot sa kanila, takot sa kanila because of David. But anointing is not enough. Anointing of God is important, but you need to do your part. Right? If you are being called into a ministry, you need to do your part. Sabi dito, it's not luck. Huwag maniwala sa swerte. Bakit? Baka malasing ka. Kaya huwag kang maniwala sa swerte. <laughs> it's not luck. It's God's favor. ba? Sabi nga, mula sa kapuspusan ng kanyang kagandahang loob, tumanggap tayong lahat ng abot-abot na kagandahang loob. No? Ganda, no? Ganda sa Tagalog. Sa English, from the fullness of His grace, we have all received one blessing after another blessing. Alam niyo mga kapatid, sabi, may nagsabi na, well, you don't need to get a theological education. You're anointed by God. There's no need, no time, and no point. Alam niyo yung counter-argument doon, ang counterpoint? The Lord had only 33 years on earth. So, before preaching for three years, he prepared for 30 years. Amen? Kung tinatawag ka ng Panginoon na maglingkod sa Diyos bilang pastor, go to Bible college. Kasi anointing 
is not enough. Time will come, we will go to uh, far-flung provinces in the Philippines and help pastors. Kasi madami kasi probinsya sa, sa probinsya natin. May mga nabor na born again Legit. Talagang on fire kay God. The problem is, puro anointing lang. Puro passion. Hindi equip. Hindi marunong magpatakbo ng organisasyon. Pagdating sa finances, sablay, guho ang church, kalat ang flak. Minsan, I should know kasi there was a time ang naging trabaho ko, inasign ako nung pastor namin, may ikot kami sa mga daughter churches sa mga provinces. At kadalasan, top two problems ang sinasolve namin problema, pinag-aayos namin yung mga tao, kasi nahati, puro, puro pain, puro iyakan, puro body ministry. Kasi top two, yung pastor, nakulimbat niya yung pera, kasi nga hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya sanay. Or naitanan niya yung isang member. <laughs> top two yun. Top two. So kasi, puro passion, puro anointing, walang training. Or, na-convert sa, sa occultism kasi naging whatever the pastor says, everybody follows. Right? Walang check and balance, walang board, walang, nag, wala. As in, kung nila yung maisipan, kung paano niya na-interpret yung binasa niya, that's it. So, anointing is not enough. You need to equip yourself. Just like sa isang regular member na umaate ng simbahan. Coming here every Sunday is not enough. You need to equip yourself. Check kung tama yung sinasabi namin. Kasi mamaya mali, right? Kasi hindi naman palaging tama. May pagkakataon rin ng mali. Minsan nga mali na ilalagay na verse eh. Oo, oo na lang tayo. Kaya nga tayo sabi natin, bring your own Bible to check. Right? Alam nyo, mahirap kaya. Alam nyo ba na there, sa Church of the Nazarene, may tatlong ordination, tatlong levels. No? Local, local license, bibigyan ka. Pangalawang level, district license. At pangatlo, yung reverend hood. Si Pastor Bert, reverend yan. Si Pastor Tim, local. Ako, district. Para ako makapunta sa level ni Pastor Bert, I need to finish this 24 courses. Yung red letter, from number 20 to 24, yun na lang yung kulang ko. Pero tingnan nyo, Kailan ako nagsimula? 2014. Tagal na, di ba? May mga pagkakataon, ayoko nang tumuloy. <laughs> Kasi mahirap. Pero I was reminded by the Word of God. Persevere. Because anointing is not enough. Gwapo ka lang, kala mo mag-aaral din. Sabi ng Diyos, di ako ha, sabi ni Lord. Alam nyo, may mga nagsasabi nga, eh, no? I don't believe in Christianity. Pero nagsiselebrate sila ng Christmas, saka ng Easter. Bakit? Kasi kulang sa kaalaman. Right? We need to read. We need to listen to po, sa podcast. We need to watch sensible uh, videos. Ang dami kaya sa YouTube. Ang daming preachings. Meron tayong LA, uh, La, La, LA Filipino Nazarene na YouTube channel. Check nyo. Nandun lahat ng teaching ni Pastor Manny, teaching ko, Pastor Bert, Pastor Tim. Now read, listen, watch, and... Kung ikaw may pagkwentuhan, make it a sensible chat. Amen? Huwag yung buhay ng kapitbahay mo. Sensible chat. Ibig sabihin, what are you talking about? Talking about COVID-19? Are you talking about uh, the West Philippine Sea? Are you talking about whatever? No? Pero ano ba sinabi ng Biblia dito sa pinag-uusapan natin? Make it sensible. Amen? Christianity is not just being part of a Christian religion. It's about being like Christ and leading others to Christ. Amen? Number five, Sabbath. Mm, Sabado. Ano ibig sabihin ng Sabbath? Sabi nung araw, our grandparents called it the Sabbath. Our fathers called it Sunday. And now we call it the weekend. <laughs> Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, your God. Exodus 28 to 10. Mga kapatid, importante ang rest day. Give one day in a week for God. Amen? Kaya nga, 
ang target natin by September or October, magkakaroon na tayo ng midweek service every Wednesday. As in, ganito, service. Dito sa Wiley Chapel. Bakit? Kasi we want to provide an opportunity dun sa mga nurses na irapan paglinggo, mga caregivers. Yung mga... Kasi ano yan eh, dito sa Amerika, 24-7 tayong gumagalaw eh. So, gusto nilang mag-church pero hindi sila pwede na Sunday. So, we will give them an opportunity to go every Wednesday. Right? At least para ma-achieve nila yung give one day in a week for God. You see, rest days. Restock glycogen, stores, build strength, minimize fatigue, reduce risk of overuse injuries, avoid mental burnout, help your body repair itself. Science yan. Pag ikaw daw ay nag rest day. Right? It is for your own good. Amen? Kaya magpahinga ka rin. Sunday worship experience is important during your, when, during your rest day. Be in fellowship with fellow believers. That is very important. Mas naintindihan nyo yan nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, nung na-lockdown tayo. Importante pala, di ba? Kaya after service, go to the courtyard. Stay for like 5, 10, 30 minutes. Chit-chat, kumain ka, kape-kape. And then talk, sensible chat. Okay? And number six, so what are we talking about? These are life rules for a Christian. This will help us a lot. These are practical ways of living using the Bible. Simplicity. Maging simple daw. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Gusto mo maging sophisticated? You need to, be, need to live a simple life. Teach me the way. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a Hindi ko mabase. Plain path. Is that plain? Sabi ni, ni Steve Jobs, si Steve Jobs yun ni Christian, ha? Al- alam naman nating lahat siya. That's been one of my mantras. Focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. But it's worth it in the end because once you get there, you can move mountains. Sabi ni Steve Jobs. Hindi yan Christian. Kaya pansinin nyo yung Apple, simple. Ang dali niyang intindihin. No? Everything he does is simple. Hindi yan Christian. Pero alam niya yung prinsipyo ng simplicity. Sabi sa Luke 16.13, No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one. Ang nagpapahirap sa atin, kaya hindi tayo simpleng namumuhay, is because we love the Lord and we also love the world. What do I mean? Live a simple life. Being extravagant is far different from being blessed. Amen? Eh, pastor eh, pinagpala ako ng Diyos eh. Iba yung pinagpala ka, masaya ka, pinoks mo sa Facebook, dahil masaya ka. Dahil pinagpala ka. Iba yung extravagant. Iba yung nagyayabang ka. Pag nag-post ka ng ganyan sa Facebook, para kasi may weather, di ba? Hindi ka nakakabless, nakakatawa ka. <laughs> Naintindihan natin. Iba kasi yung masaya ka, ba, nakakuha ka ng, uh, uh, ba, bumili kang bagong kotse, wow, masaya ka. And you wanna share your joy, there's nothing wrong with that. Pero kung bumili ka ng tatlong kotse, at pinakita mo lahat sa Facebook, there's something wrong with you. Do you agree with that? That's not simplicity. That's extravagance. Right? So, tandaan nyo, kapag sobra-sobra, extravagant. Pero, kapag kahit na mahal pa yan, pero simple, at masaya ka lang, walang problema yun. Pero yun ang ganyan, ipopost mong ganyan, daming pera, di ba? Be simple, paano ba? Be simple in our manner of dressing, the way we speak, the way we carry ourselves, now, the way we use makeup, be simple in posting in Facebook, etc., etc. Para hindi ka makakamusta ng mga mustang, kaya kasi inutangan kasi kung ano-ano pinagpo-post mo, baka extravagant ka. So, yung sa mo, don't be conceited. No? Our God is a humble God. Right? 
pinanganak nga sa sabsaban, hindi naman sa Mariot. Di ba? Ganun siya kahambol. Ay eh, sabi nga ng salita ng Diyos, mabuti pa. At natatawa ko sa picture nito, talagang literal eh, no? ipinasok yung camel dun sa... <laughs> Kasi di ba sabi, again, I tell you, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Mas madali pa daw ipasok yung kamelyo doon sa maliit na butas ng karayom kesa na doon sa tao na sobra, 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 sobrang yaman pero ang damot, damot, damot naman, hindi daw makapasok yon sa kingdom of God. Di ba may nagtanong? Sabi niya, Lord, ginawa ko na po lahat yung inutos niyo. Ano, ano, ano bang gagawin ko para, para ma, 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 for me to follow you? Sabi ni Lord, alam ko mayaman ka eh. Benta mo lahat na meron sa'yo. Tapos bigay mo sa mahirap. It's a test of faith, actually. Ano sabi sa Biblia? At hindi na muling nakita. <laughs> hindi na sa muling nakita. Ibig sabihin, ayoko nga. Do you think that person will enter the kingdom of God? No. See, everybody, everything here is temporary. Mawawala sa'yo lahat yan. In fact, in, kahit yung, sa, do, sa, yung damit na suot mo ngayon, mawawala yan. Pumasok ka dito na hubad, lalabas ka na hubad. Kaya bakit mo pagpapahalagan yan mga yan? Amen? And number seven, play and recreation. This is important. No? Kala nyo, boring maging Christian? Even the Bible says, you need play and recreation. Paano? Tingnan natin. Mark 6.31 And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a secluded place and rest a while. For there were many people coming and going and they did not even have time to eat. In Exodus 32.6 So the next day, they rose early and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offering and the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. So, ibig sabihin, play and recreation is part of our life. Diba? May kasabihan nga, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Imagine, puro trabaho ka. Trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. You don't work, you don't play. Diba? Kaya kami, kabang yung pagkakataon, uh, sa pamilya namin, every winter, spring, summer, fall na vacation, No, we make it a point na lumabas kami. Do something for our play and recreation. Even sa church, we do this. Right? We, 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 we have retreats for our play and recreation. At the same time, we learn something from the Lord. Right? Are you excited? Kapag nag-open na, pinaplana na natin yung retreat natin. Excited na ba kayo? So, even, bowling is a good play and recreation. Diba? How about reading? Reading is a good play and recreation. Biking. Mountain biking. Nako, pag nasa ibabaw ka na, hingal ka lang pag, pag, pagpapanik. Pero pag nasa ibabaw ka na, yun na yung ano. Uh, sports fest sa church. It's a good play and a recreation. We will have our Pinoy sports fest. Alam niyo, lalaroy natin, Patintero, Jackstone, Uh, ano yun? Chato. Luksong tinik. Tuturuan natin yung mga bata na laruin yung laro natin noon. Right? Pinoy Sports Fest. ba? Diba? Kasi connecting event yan eh. You will invite people and then they will enjoy Sports Fest and then pag Sunday, may hiyan na silang tumanggi sa'yo. Pupunta na sila dito. Ganun lang yun. ba? Diba? Hiking. It's a good play and recreation. Right? How about Horseback riding. First time ko yan. Tanya, nakasibangot yung kabayo. Sabi, bigat-bigat mo. Sabi niya gano'n. Sana hindi ka na sumampa sa akin. Galit na galit yung kabayo. Pero ang paborito ko talaga, yung iron horse. Yan. Para sa akin, yan ang the best play and recreation. No, I love doing that. No, how about service and mission? Ayan, pinaglaro ka ng Lord, mag-serve ka na. <laughs> so, alam niyo, without play and recreation, mababurnout ka. You need to find ways para entertain yung sarili mo. You need to serve. Sabi dito, no? serving God together. We need to serve God together. How beautiful upon the mountain are the feet of Him that publish, publish it salvation. 
No, sa Tagalog, napakagandang tingnan daw ng mga paa, nagdadala na ang salita ng Diyos. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, uh, okay gandang pagmasdan sa mga kabundukan. Ang sugo, no, ikaw yun, sugo ka ng Diyos na dumarating upang ipahayag ang kapayapaan. Eh, pastor, di naman ako darating sa trabaho namin may dalang Bible tapos para magpipreach ako. Hindi. Presensya mo pa lang, sugo ka na ng Diyos. The way you speak, sugo ka ng Diyos. The way you think, the way you do things, yung work ethics mo, sugo ka ng Diyos. Eh kung lagi kang late, lagi kang, lagi kang nangungutang, lagi kang magulo sa ano, hindi ka pagkatiwalaan sa trabaho, hindi ka kasugo ng Diyos kasi hindi mo siya nare-represent ng tama. Hindi mo kailangan mag-preach, mamuhay ka ng tama, that's the best preaching. Amen? Sugo ka daw na dumarating upang ipahayag ang kapayapaan at nagdadala ng magandang balita. Ipapahayag niya ang tagumpay at sasabihin, Zion, ang Diyos mo ay nagahari. No? Kaya meron tayong plano na magkaroon uli ng mga maraming life groups. No? Baka ikaw, tinatawag ka na buksan ang bahay mo pagkatapos ng COVID-19. No? Na magkaroon ng Bible study group sa bahay mo. Sabihin mo sa amin, paumpisa natin, tatapusin mo. <laughs> Parang Fernando po Jr. Ano? No? How about joining us? No? Kasi service eh. Join us in our worship team. Hindi naman marunong kumanta eh. Okay lang yun. Hindi naman naghahanap ng Diyos ng singer. Ang hinahanap ng Diyos, worshiper. Magkaiba po yung singer sa worshiper. Okay? How about food preparation? Eh, simple lang yun, no? Kailangan, kailangan namin ng mga tao na mag-prepare mag, ng food. Actually, first, second, third Sunday, simple lang naman eh, coffee, donut, may cart na tayong nandyan, di ba? Magre-refill lang ng tubig, yung magsiserve lang ng coffee, di ba? Ang komplikado ngayon, fourth Sunday, patlak yan eh. Mas kailangan ng tao na tutulong, magsiserve. Di ba? Ang ganda lahat kung tayo nagsisilbi sa isa't isa. Nag-aabutan tayo ng plato, di ba? Pagka masarap yung ulam, itatago mo kasi baka maubos. <laughs> Kaya nga ako sumali sa ministry na to eh. Bakit? Para makapagsubi na ako ng ulam. Masarap yung dala ni brother eh. Di ba? Kids ministry. Join our kids ministry. Alam nyo, matagal nang walang kids ministry dito. <laughs> Meron na ngayon. At may mga bata na. At dadami pa yan. Dahil pagdala ng pagpasok dito ng mga tao, may dalang anak yun. Kailangan namin ng mga pagbabantay, maghahatin sa restroom. Bakit? Nasa LA tayo eh. Hindi natin sigurado itong lugar na to. We need to be very careful with our kids para hindi sila ma-abuse. Every move nila dapat binabantayan natin. Kasi anybody can just come in at masalisihan tayo. So we need people na magbabantay sa bata. Para safe yung anak mo. Para ikaw, safe ka dito na kampante ka, nakaupo ka dyan, nakikinig ka. Hindi mo iniisip na nasa kayang anak ko. Ngayon, nasa, ano sila, nasa office sila, nagsisiksikin doon. Pero, starting next week, meron na tayong sariling kids room. Diba? Praise the Lord. Palakbakan natin ang Diyos. Kasi nakita ng Diyos yung effort eh. Ayan, gumalaw ka, pagpapalain kita. Right? So, dali nyo lahat mga anak nyo dito. Anak nyo na ano ah, na 12 and below ah, pagka mga high school, college na, may plano kami nila, Pastor Tim, dyan. Okay? So, how about care for the physical body? Ayan, si Pastor Bert na magpipreach nito. Ayan, the joke lang. Kasi mataba ako eh. Tatamaan ako dito eh. Care for the physical body. Sabi ni Bandam, no? God gave me a great body and it's my duty to take care of my physical temple. Wow! Hindi ko alam kung Christian to si Jean-Claude Van Damme. No? Pero ganda na sinabi niya. How about care for the physical body? How are we going to mature? How are we going to, to please God? Why is it our life rule for us to care for our physical bodies? No? Your bodies. Alam niyo ba that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were both at a price. Therefore, honor God with your Bodies. Yan. Linaw, di ba? Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live in. Wala ka ng ibang titarahan. Kaya always take good care of your body. Right? Walking. 
we we walk every day no sa doon sa park na katabi ng bayan we walk every day as in every day kasi uh, it gives you strength talaga no uh, eat right eto hindi ko to ginagawa <laughs> pero gawin niyo pero gusto ko ring gawin eat right di ba kasi ako eat left kaliwete ako eh. so <laughs> na eat right kumain ng tama kumain ng tama di ba kasi kung ano yung pinapasok sabi nga may kasabihan what you eat is who you are di ba so don't smoke because it kills di ba alam niyo ba na 14 minutes na nababawas sa iyo kada stick ng sigarilyo di ba i'm thankful to god this is the last last na natanggal ko sa sarili ko Natanggal ko, natanggal, nahirapan ako sa pag-inom, pero natanggal ng Diyos. Nahirapan ako sa ibang bagay, natanggal ng Diyos. Pero ito, yung huling-huling sinuko ko. Kasi I started smoking when I was 14. So, napakabata, di ba? Pero nung natanggal ko talaga, talagang praise the Lord to. Uh, for now, for almost 20 plus years, hindi na ako naninigarilyo. So, ang laking bagay, right? How about Drugs. Hindi ka lang manghihina, papangit ka pa. Di ba? Tignan nyo yung transformation niya pag ganun. Pag ganun. Di ba? So, kinakain nito yung utak mo, tapos pumapayat ka ng husto. So, please don't do this. No? Uh, Kung baga, uh, igalang nyo yung temple ng Diyos. At uh, madami tayong ka- kaibigan, ka- 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 kapatid na nasa labas, na homeless ngayon dahil sa under sila sa bondage na to. Kailangan natin ipanalangin. Do you get enough sleep? Get enough sleep. Di ba? Hindi uh, ko rin ito kinagawa eh. Pero, gagawin ko na. <laughs> Ay, ayoko yung preach tong area na to eh. Kasi tatamaan ako dito eh. Alam niyo, more men are killed by overwork. Alam niyo ba yun? Than the importance of the world justifies. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, magpahinga at alagaan ang katawan. Amen? Number 10, tatapos na tayo, emotional health. Ha? Importante pala yun? Yep. Emotional health is also a life rule. I, uh, I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Alam nyo, this world will always teach us that we have a body. Yeah, di ba? Sabi kanina, oh, sabi niya naman, pasta, di ba? Take good care of our body. Tawa ng gym, kain ako ng tama. Everything okay yan. Pero, kung importante yan, may mas importante dyan. Kasi, we need to understand that we are a spirit who have a soul and live in a body. Yung spirit, hindi nasisira yan. Nandyan yan forever. Yung body, kasi, anbawa, you take good care of your body. Ang laki ng katawan mo, masigla ka, healthy ka, wala kang sakit. Pero you don't take care of your spirit and soul. Di ba? Kaya nga iba, umibili ng book, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Di ba? O kaya, yung iba naman, eh, uh, kung baga, nag, nagpupunta sa gym, kumakain ng tama, kasi they wanna take good care of their body. Pero ano yung sinabi natin kanina pa? Take good care of your spirit. Scripture. Quiet time. Prayer, word, fellowship, etc., etc. Sabi nga, how do you manage your emotional maturity? Let go and let God. Amen? Don't sweat the small stuff. Wag, ka nang, wag mo nang intindihin yung mga maliliit na bagay. Immature people always want to win an argument, even at the cost of a relationship. You see, mature people understand that it's always better to lose an argument and win a relationship. Amen? Iga nga, choose your battles wisely. Proverbs 14, 16, A wise man uh, uh, fears the Lord and shuns evil. No? Mabase. and refuse hot-headed and reckless. You see, not every action warrants a defensive reaction. Amen? Sabi mo, sabi mo, huwag kang patola. Huwag kang patol ng patol sa lahat ng bagay. Di ba? Piliin mo lang yung papatulan mo. Okay? 
And number 10, 11, family. Family is important. Remember, your family is your first ministry. Okay? Pag pinabayaan mo ang pamilya mo, wala kang karapatan mag-ministry. Do you agree with that? Sabi kasi sa Tito, sabi sa, sa, sa Timothy, paano ba daw humanap ng pastor, ng leader ng simbahan? Kapag hindi ka tamang leader sa bahay, hindi ka pwedeng tamang leader sa simbahan. Amen? So sabi dito, no? Uh, we shall serve the Lord, Joshua 24.15. Ito yung ano eh, for, for me and for my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen? So ito na naman si Joshua, sinabi niya naman sikreto niya. Sabi niya, sampu na aking pamilya, lahat kami nagsisilbi sa Panginoon. Dati nga, problema ko yan eh. Sabi ko, pagpunta ko sa LA first, parang ako lang mag-isa. Kasi yung asawa ko, hindi sumasama, tsaka yung anak ko. Namumblema ako. Tapos, hanggang sa kinausap ng Panginoon, yung asawa ko, yung anak ko, sumama dito. Hindi lang sumama, nag-ministry pa. Yung asawa ko eh, siya yung nag-open ng, sabi ko, tulungan mo naman kami sa worship. Kasi malaking void ang pagalis ni Sister Hansel eh. Dahil, alam niyo yun, one man band si Sister. Kaya niyang dalin lahat. Ang problema natin, wala tayo ngayong worship team. Sabi ko, tulungan mo naman kami i-open. So, na-open natin. We started with YouTube. And now, <coughs> we have a, di ba? Praise the Lord, we have a beautiful band. Di ba? Tapos, sabi niya, okay na dito. Lipat tayo. Lipat tayo. Open naman natin yung kids ministry. Umu-okay na. Hanggang sa meron na naman eventually na ilagay ang Panginoon doon ang, ang next na gagawin niya i-open yung women's ministry. O open na open na open na open. Kala ko ba ay masumama ka ako? Eh, it's God kasi you need to serve as a family. Ang hirap pag nag-isa ka lang eh, right? Amen. So last but not the least, community. No, we need to life rules for a Christian. Community is important. You need to be part of the community. You need, to be, you need to love people. No, hindi ka tinawag mag-isa. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Rule number one. Commandment number one na importante. The second is this, sabi ng Panginoon, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. Ten commandments sum up in two. Right? Jesus' greatest commandment, you shall love the Lord your God the second is this, you shall love your neighbor. Amen? Kaya, usong-usong ngayon yung, di ba, nababaril, napapatay, Asian hate, Black Lives Matter, I mean, people look at a person because of the color ng kanilang skin, yung kanilang thick accent. No? Huwag na tayo lumayo. Sa Pilipino lang, ang dami-dami nating prejudice eh. Yung mga taga-north, pagka dumating yung taga-south, di ba, tawag natin, na, natin sa kanila, Inday, kasi we mean nakatulong. Right? Ayun pala, pagdating sa kanila, ang Inday means love. Hindi ko nga alam yun eh. Kasi I thought, dumaki ako, ay, Inday lang yan. Yung pala, alam mo yun, we, we mean not like, uh, parang mababa, pero sa pagdating mo sa south, ang Inday means love. Pinalaki tayong ganun, mali, di ba? We look at people na kapag galing ng, sa, sa north, sa mountain province or whatever, ay, taga-bundok yan eh. Di ba? Oy, maitim ang kulay niyan. Ilocano yan eh. Oy, ganito, ganyan. Eh, paano na lang ako? <laughs> we need to be sorry, no? For passing judgment instead of extending love. Right? We don't, we don't, we don't need to pass judgment. Kasi ganyan ang pangin natin eh. Minahal niya tayo kung sino tayo. Sabi mo sa katay mo, love the unlovable. Love your seatmate. Diba? So, yan po ang ating life rules for a Christian life. We have scripture, silence and solitude, source of income, study, sabbath, simplicity, play and recreation, service and mission, care for the physical body, emotional health, family, and community. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Sunday morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for calling us to press on to maturity. What's next after our salvation, Lord God, is you are calling us to mature in our spiritual life. To consider 12 areas, Lord God, in our lives and look upon your word and reflect. What are we going to talk about, Lord God, when we say scripture, your word, 
Sabbath and everything. These things, Lord God, will all help us. You designed all these things, Lord God, for us. No, na pagpalain niyo at magamit niyo kami 